back to our notes. So we're back to our notes. So, so now we have a couple of new equations to use if it's not in terms of time. All right, let's do the next page. Uh, what if acceleration is constant? Right, what if acceleration is constant? You could use your integrals, but let's make it a little bit easier because when acceleration is constant, you can take the acceleration out of the integral, which makes this a lot easier. And so this, I'm going to do the, this is V, evaluated V final minus V initial. <clears throat> All right, this is T, evaluated T final minus T initial. Uh, nine times out of 10, right? We're starting with a T of zero. And so let me just rearrange this equation a little bit. V final equals V initial plus AT. Y'all knew that equation. Y'all have seen that equation before. We can use this equation now. Only use only, I can't emphasize this enough, when acceleration is constant. And I'm going to take off a good bit if you use this equation when you should. All right. That equation is only true when acceleration is constant. But, so that means we kind of have a little shortcut now. If acceleration is constant, we don't have to do our integral. We just did the integral. We can use VF equals VI plus AT. Y'all have seen that equation before, but it's a constant acceleration equation. I think I'll, test one, I may not do this for test three, test four, or test two, three in the final. I might not write constant acceleration, but here's a reminder for constant acceleration. If your acceleration is 4T, that's not constant. If your acceleration is 10S, that's not constant. Um, but if it says it's constant, or if, or if you, it just says acceleration is two meters per second squared <laughs> throughout the whole problem, that'd be constant. You can use that equation. Or, like the gravity yes, yes. We'll assume acceleration gravity constant, 9.81 um, meters per second straight down, yeah. Um, all right. If acceleration is constant for this one, let's bring the A outside of the equation. You all know the integral of V is V squared over 2. Let's do the final squared over 2, the initial squared over 2. A, this would be S. The integral of dS is S, but we need to evaluate it at SF and SI. Uh, I'm going to multiply this 2 uh, up to the other side of the equation. Subtract this over. Vf squared equals Vi squared plus... A, uh, SF minus SI, right? Change in position. Y'all have seen that equation before. Use only when acceleration is constant. Yes, question? Yes, 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 yes. I'm leaving out a two. It's right in front of me. Yes. Don't have to memorize it. You just have to know when to use it. When would we use this equation versus when would we use that, that first equation that we derived? Well, just, just look at your problem statement. See what you're given and see what you're asked to find. It's kind of why uh, the way we format our homework is a really good format to use all the time. Just kind of figure, write out what, what are we given, write what we're trying to find, and just see which those equations you need to use. And generally, if you are given time, you'd use that first equation, right? But if you're given distance or position, you'd use that second equation. <coughs> All right, one more. Um, if acceleration is constant, then our velocity, we can rewrite. And so this VF, sometimes I don't write this F. It's just kind of the, the V. All right. Uh, so this V, we can rewrite as V initial plus AT, and we can take that integral. All right, so this would be SF minus SI, and then the integral of V with respect to T, sorry, V initial, and V initial is just its initial velocity. You can only have one initial velocity. It's, a, it's whatever it, it is. Um, it's not a function. Um, it's just a, a value, a number. So if we integrate with respect to t, it'd be vit. 
if we integrate this with respect to t, <clears throat> integral of a t with respect to t, that a doesn't do anything to it. It's just a, it's a constant acceleration. So we can do that right here. I'm going to move that to the other side of the equation. Sf equals si plus vit plus one half a t squared. Those are on your uh, formula sheet, but I think you'll use them enough that you'll be comfortable writing them out without uh, referring back to um, our formula sheet, but only when acceleration is constant. Only when acceleration is constant. 